welcome everybody to episode five of the toy box so another episode fifth episode let's take a look inside the box and see what it's picked for us this week here we go Ooh, this is a good one. Oh, look at that we've got the nick turtles back to the nick turtles it's like we got a break in episode four from turtles but apparently the toy box really wanted to do another turtle so um we have from the nick turtles line the dark beaver the shadow lurking evil beaver very excited about this one i really love that episode with the beavers um, mainly because the voices were two great horror icons we have robert england who did the voice of the dire and the dread beavers and john kassir who is best known as the voice of the crypt keeper from tales from the crypt um doing the voice of the dark beaver so pretty cool to finally get my hands on this figure so, uh, of course you see the packaging um it is a turtle side character so the four turtles dark beaver down here nick turtles logo there um of course you got the bio on the back here uh so the dark beaver the shadow lurking evil beaver stuck in the dream dimension for thousands of years the dream beavers feed on others life forces until the day they meet the turtles 20 feet tall with claws and sharp fangs, the Dream Beavers chase the turtles around the streets of New York City in hopes of draining them of everything they have. Once Casey and April are able to break them out of the Dream Dimension, the Beavers are no match for Ninja Turtles. Or are they? Uh, the weapons, piercing claws and slavering, teeth, slavering fangs, and of course the team affiliation is the Krang. Because <clears throat> yeah, they were mutated. So, um, then Of course you see the other figures are available now. Um, pretty much all these now are on store shelves, which uh, pretty much was the one that I was waiting for to hit, and it finally did, so, okay, so, there's a look at the Dream Beaver inside the package, we're gonna bust him out of his plastic prison, and take a closer look at him, right after this. Hey there, sports dudes! In baseball tonight, Grand Slam and Rap Slam dig it. Unfortunately, the ball didn't go anywhere because it was attached to a pole. In football, TD Toss and Leo's making sure the foot aren't having a ball. In basketball, Slam Dunk and Don's becoming a real basket case. And in wrestling, we find Shell Slam and Mike pinned by his tight on. More Sewer Sports All-Stars coming up, but now a word from our sponsor. From Playmates, dude. Okay, so we've got the Dark Beaver. Um, free from his plastic prison, um, so to say. Uh, so let's take a closer look at the figure. Um, it is nicely detailed in like a reddish orange um, type fur. The yellow claws, yellow teeth, the the red beady eyes, some green detailing inside the ear. And of course, on the chest, you've got the, the skull with the flames around it, kind of reminiscent of a Care Bear. So, um, of course, the tail, the tail does come um, detached from the figure inside the package. I mean, it's just a little ball joint that just pops right in, just like that. And that does have some movement on there, so pretty cool. Um, then the rest of the articulation, of course, the arms are going to move up and down and around. The head will move. Then the legs have some articulation on there, too. So, so pretty cool. A little more articulated than I thought it would be. And it's still a pretty awesome figure, especially in the detailing, um, as far as, like, the face goes. <clears throat> pretty cool. You can get a closer look at the, the skull on the belly there. Yeah. And the tail, the detailing in the, the scalp work on the tail is pretty cool. So, and of course, the long claws. Little whiskers, and you see his little creepy red eyes. Um, really great figure. Um, this is the an original figure for the series. Uh, from the cartoon, so there's really nothing to compare it to compared to other um, vintage figures, anything like that. So, <clears throat> pretty sweet figure and pretty short review on this one because it's, it's actually a really good figure. I'm not dissatisfied with it at all. It's like the, the detailing is great, the sculpt is great. I mean, it's pretty basic. I mean, Playmates does that on purpose to keep the line affordable. I mean, these figures are like eight, nine dollars most places. So, and especially this time of the year with everything on sale. <clears throat> so, pretty cool stuff. Um, great figure. Uh, and it should be hitting store shelves now. Like I said, just picked this one up a couple days ago. So, um, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this week. Um, like I said, short review. Uh, I do have some other stuff coming up. 
um, other figures to review, more Turtles figures. Um, I still got Lord Dragon, but Lord Dragon, but Savage Mikey coming. Uh, so the Elite 37 Dean Malenko. Lots of stuff coming down the pipeline. So stay tuned, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.